Do you know? Oh man. Did you just say, do you know what he's saying? I don't know what you're saying to me. As the brightest minds of Oxford and Cambridge, we have been sent to save priceless seed and plant specimens from the eternal winter. Do we have what it takes to keep the seedling arc safe? So I've already played this, so Angry would probably want me to bump this up. <laughs> Shout out Streamlabs. <laughs> yes, Angry what? A little bit. A little bit what? Do you want me to do you want me to do it hard on this one? Because I did medium when I played it the first time. Raising the stakes. No, 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 we're not gonna do extreme. No, sir. I didn't even look at the stats. Society's attitude? Was that one of the things I didn't even look at it? I want to see that frostbite. There definitely have not been enough amputations on these other scenarios, as you'd like. We've been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure, the seeds and seedlings of plants from all over the world. They've been deposited in seedling arcs to stop them from freezing, but it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends, however long that may be. The only way to do this is with automatons. We'll ensure the green earth is reborn, even if we aren't there to witness it. Those are the arcs. They're in really awkward places. We've reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. We were supposed to deploy automatons to make sure the city can run itself no matter the weather, but the transport carrying the factory plans was lost in a blizzard. We need to build a beacon and send a team to search for it. Well, of course you're saying things, and of course my OBS isn't showing me what you're saying. Oh, there we go. So I'd be right back, need a small break, get some food, but I'm on mobile. Okay. Okay. We must ensure that the seedling arcs don't freeze. All the seedlings and many of the tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold. If the temperature in any seedling arc falls below chilly for too long, its precious contents will be irreversibly damaged. I see. I see. This is not on. These are currently livable. <laughs> we have we have no we have 15 steel and we have three steam cores. That's literally all we have. Hilarious. Hilarious. And all I have is 45. 45 engineers. What do they want me to build? The beacon? I need the workshop to research the beacon, don't I? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna back this down to medium. What do you guys think? Can we go back down to medium? Coal pile, coal pile, iron ore deposit, coal deposit, lots of trees, wood, coal, wood, steel, steel, coal. Guess I'll get everybody going after wood resources.
Oh, I have an automaton? Oz. Why is... This, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think my screen size is properly... Are you kidding me right now? I can't even see the corner of my screen. My screen is bigger than my TV. Why is it... What? What is the resolution set at? What the frick is going on? What is my... How do you... Gosh. This game, why does it keep giving me so much grief with... That's the resolution we want. You piece of crap. What the heck was that all about? Oh, now I can't grab it. It's above my screen! What does that mean? Does anybody know how to get it back on my screen? Oh my gosh! It is, you know, the, the thing that you need. <sighs> what if I shrink it? No, it, it's still. I can't. I can't grab the the window. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to quit the game and start over, I think. Sorry, guys. Frostpunk, uh, really giving me problems here. I don't know why it just doesn't open to the display of my screen. Now it did. Does that matter? Now it doesn't fit in my Twitch. Oh, there it is. Okay. Welcome spread. I'm having a heck of a time with resolution right now. Goodness. I think we are good to go here. I gotta restart this. Hey, you missed the end of the other one. Both you and Hayraz. <laughs> On the edge. It got really boring in the middle. Uh, but then... <laughs> we took down... Well... <laughs> New London. I don't know if you remember New London. Where's my mouse? There it is. Society's attitude. Alright, I've done this one before. Anyway, I've done this one before. I'm going to do it on hard. We're going to try that. Yeah, so New London, they were screwing us over at the beginning of the game. We basically said, F you, we're going to live ourselves. And they said, oh, we're going to come fight you. And then we started living ourselves and building up the other societies. I don't know, remember how much you saw. And then uh, eventually New London's like, hey, uh, can you help us? Because we're in trouble. And I'm like, so I had the choice. I could help them or I could, you know, tell them to F off. And I told them to F off. <laughs> I changed the language to German. Oh, shoot. I already started. Dang. I already started. All right. 
Let me read this again. We've been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure, the seeds and seedlings of plants from all over the world. They've been deposited to seed in seedling arcs to stop them from freezing, but it falls to us to build a city, protect its precious buildings until the winter ends, however long that may be. The only way to do this was the, is with automatons. We'll ensure the green earth is reborn, even if we aren't there to witness it. So anyway, yeah, we, we told New London to F off, and then they started sending a bunch of refugees to us that we had to take care of really quickly. We reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. We were supposed to deploy automatons to make sure the city can run itself no matter the weather, but the transport carrying the factory plans was lost in a blizzard. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. We need to build a beacon to send a team to search for it. Remember to call your city. Oh. Oh. If Angry's here, or when he comes back, <laughs> you're you're gonna understand that the name I chose was the best name of all. As what from what happened at the end. Oh my gosh, Auto Mod got you. I think I was there most of the time until you told them to F off when they asked for help. Yeah, you probably saw most of that rebuilding the other societies. That's where it got really boring is rebuilding the three other groups. It just became super monotonous. We must ensure that the seedling arcs don't freeze. All the seedlings and many of the tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold. If the temperature in any seedling arc falls below chilly for too long, its precious contents will be irreversibly damaged. <laughs> Shut up, hey, Raz. <laughs> of course it works. Nothing's ever broken in my stream. I do have an automaton. Let's have him, I don't know, do steel wreckage. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Um... There was... Uh, anyway, spreader, I'm back to the name of my, my town. <laughs> For the name of the town, there's a... Uh, Angry got a clip of it. Uh, and he posted it in the Discord, or you can probably find it in my clips. Um, something they said at the end was so horrifying. It was so horrifying that it was great. I don't know where to put this. <laughs> I'm just gonna check if these other things work for me too. <laughs> If it works for one, it works for all. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know if you know the end of the game. At the end of each scenario, it does a little summary of how you did. And it said something about, about my town with the town's name. And the way it worded the sentence was so perfect for how we named the town. So complete redemption on the town name I chose. It made it more overtly sexual beyond what you guys could have imagined. And I know that's your favorite thing in the world is to make it sound filthy in here. Uno, dos, tres. Let's see, 10 per place, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I need five. Cuatro, cinco. All right, we have housing. We can start Ooh, researching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby.
I wonder if this guy should be harvesting coal. Would coal be better than steel? Probably would be. How about when he goes to refuel? The bot's name, all, by the way, is also the blue. Lo oh, I can I can rename their name. Uh, the bot's names, the blue lowlander. I can even rename the people in the society. <laughs> Don't get any ideas, kids. I still have a little bit of numbing from the dentist in here. I can feel it and I hate it. <laughs> Has to have a a hyphen, huh? There you go. That's the bot's name. I know you told me all about of it. About it. Why? What's the odd part of it? I know semen would pronounce to or would be pronounced Simon for me. What would the odd part be, and what does that mean? Or is it just part of the name? I ain't drank too much now. I feel sick. When did that happen? Hey, Raz? I look away, and I turn around, and you've eaten and drank too much, and then you're sick. Oh, it's just part of the name. Okay. It's just... Okay. So, is that whole thing a first name? Or is that... Do you guys have middle names? We often have first, middle, and last names. <laughs> it happens so fast. <laughs> it's like a double name. Okay. Do people go by that, or is there like a nickname for it? You have three names? I have a first, middle, and a last name as well. My wife didn't get a middle name. Her parents didn't do that. You can have four. I mean, technically, I think people can have as many as they want, at least here in the States, but it's common to have first, middle, and last. Is this guy ever going to refuel? There you go. Oh, unable to refuel. That can't be good. Hey, buddy. Sir, so, not time to stop working because it was unable to recharge itself from the generator steam hub. It has to do that twice daily. <laughs> Crap. Ah, uh, I made a bad decision right off the beginning. Oh my gosh. And as usual, I forget about the laws. At the beginning of the game, I always forget about the laws. First name can be a double as well as two last names. Ooh. Welcome back, Angry. Did you see the disaster that was my beginning of the game? And I'm already having another disaster. Hear me, hear me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get discontented, kids. It's gonna happen. My daughter has a double name. She also took my wife. And my last name. Not that she had a choice. <laughs> nice. Spreader and Oh, yeah. That's what we were just talking about, Angry. Is that Spreader and his bad mouth in the name for my, my village? Or whatever we called Outpost? And I said, no, no, no. It was the perfect name based upon what was said at the end of the scenario. I'm sure Angry could dig up the clip for you. There it is. <laughs> he found it just like that. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, by the way, I will have to pick up my son again today, most likely. 
Spreader and we'll be right back. Do I turn this on immediately? How much coal does it use? Prepping your din din took a little longer. No problem. Hey Raz ate, ate and drank himself silly. Now he's sick. Oh, you're already back. That was a quick B right B BRB. BRB. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put five people here to start researching. You know what they need. They need a beacon right off the bat. Why did that double open? You just watch the clip. To be honest, it wasn't the worst name. <laughs> it worked out nicely in the, that little sentence, didn't it? That one little sentence brought it all together just for you guys. <laughs> Why am I so see-through? This is not green. Why am I see-through? I'm concerned. I should not be see-through. This is This is gray and black. I guess I gotta be see-through today. Oh, 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 I already have sick people. Yes, 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 sick people I love. I love it when I have sick people. Love it. Should we run a 24 hour shift on these guys too? Get them all pissed off. Whoop. Let's do it. Goals to protect the seedlings from frost and amputations. Yes, amputations is always one of the goals. But yeah, we have to keep this from going down under, under chili. Or else there will be a little countdown thing that'll say you've got very little time to heat this place back up. And I only have 45 engineers and currently one automaton to do all the work. And five sick people. I assume they got sick out here. <laughs> um well no it, it can get to chili if you can keep it to at least chili if it goes below chili we have problems and yes i don't have an automaton i excuse me i have one odd semen <laughs> there there's his name i can't believe the game put it in there i didn't even write that in there <laughs> How did that get in there? <laughs> oh boy. Mmm. We don't have any food. I forgot all about food. Where do you think a good place for food is? How about right there? <laughs> Angry needs food. Hey Raz, you still with us? Did you pass out? Got a day's worth of coal. There he is. Fridge or stomach are the best places for food. <laughs> That's true. So 
So my wife's, I think she's on a fan boat in Florida and they're like sightseeing alligators just sitting out there. They're having a great old time. I'm sitting here and it's freezing cold. Like, not in the game. Well, it is in the game, but it's also freezing cold out there. Like, what's the high temp? Right now it's 25 degrees, so I mean, it's a little bit warmer than that. The lows are definitely below 25. I don't think we're getting that low. Oh, that's minus four. Never mind. We're not getting them minus. <clears throat> so right now it's just kind of a waiting game of just... Oh. What? Oh. Oh. It's the forced death during an emergency shift. Screw you guys, deal with your emergency shifts. I need an hour to sign a law. Well, there went one of my people. That's amazing, because I had people to spare. And, he oh frick, I used an emergency shift here. No. Why did I do it there? Oh my gosh. Sir, people are questioning the need for so many emergency shifts. They understand that our situation requires hard work from everyone, but do we really have to rely on heroic efforts so often? All right, I'll stop using them. I only use them for your... for your benefit. It was for you guys so you would survive. These people are so whiny. Oh, because we raised it to hard. That's why That's why everyone's so whiny. Oh, my freak. Um... We want corpse disposal, I suppose, because then you get organ transplants. Discontent will rise, hope will fall. I'll have to dig a snow pit. Bodies are preserved. No risk of disease. New law. <laughs> a new law has passed. Yeah, I just I forgot. Come on, man. Sometimes you just forget. Where should we put the snow pit at? I need it kind of away from anything that can be warm. Should it be out here, maybe? I doubt I'd build anything out there. These guys are so slow. Why are they so slow at tech? I don't think there is a, a German in here. I don't think I can change it at all. The best I can do is give you Celsius. Sorry, it's 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 not even a thing. Wait, what did I just do? Whoops. <sighs> right, restart and switch to germ. By the way, sometimes I'm scared of myself for my smart ideas. Baker, I know how you can make money big time. Ooh. I could use money. How do I get money big time? One day ends. It's time off. 
They should be on a... T Why did they end the 24-hour shift? I didn't say to shut down the 24-hour shift. This is bullcrap because now I'm at 96%. Oh, yeah! <laughs> if I go to the menu... <laughs> I just gotta quit to the main menu. Is that what I need to do? That makes sense. <laughs> Sir, the people are wondering why you have so many emergency shifts. It's not fair to them. Mew, 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 mew. I'm almost, I'm, I'm to day three and I still don't have the beacon. <laughs> Dumping our people in a, a pit is nothing to be proud of. Oh, I forgot about a cookhouse. All right, you guys want to eat, you big babies? Oh, we're so hungry. We're so hungry for dinner. Three more people are sick. What are you guys doing at the medical tent? You're not even doing any work. Oh, F. I think I can't do this on hard. Wrap up well. And it's chilly in there. And... It's chilly in here! We're gonna be restarting this game pretty soon. To work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. Beacon. Finally. All right. Ha, huh, straight to organ transplants. That'll help heal people faster. That's so gross. <laughs> hey, see that body we put in the pit? Let's use its uh, organs and its tissues and whatnot, and we'll get you, you get you healed up faster. How about that? Since you said something about summer camp, I, I just thought, let's all come together and make an international summer camp too for all your students. They can learn math, foreign languages from us, and how to cook and call it Camp Calculus. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, ex except me soliciting something like that, I'd get fired. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, I tell you about my work. They're they're insane over there. If I brought something like that up, woo -wee! Oh, I have people. Oh, I have people on that steel. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Camp calculus. <laughs> Let's do it here. But, but they'd find out that I'm... If I was telling anyone at work about that... And if they knew I was having a side job... The place is insane. It's just, it's just insane, dude. <laughs> um... So, math, foreign language, and, and cooking. Nice. <laughs> Crispy camp calculus. Today we'll be learning about the difference between wood and steel. <laughs> yep. 
Yes, we will. You see, kids. Except none of them are kids. They're all adults. This right here, this right here is wood. And this right here is steel. Alright, you got the difference? Can you see it? There's Odd Seaman doing his, doing his work. <laughs> uh, my wood crates have been depleted. Actually, let's, let's put this wood crate next. Almost all my food is gone. I have to research faster. It's the only way. And you don't earn money. It's a donation, right? <laughs> Let's not invite the kids, at least for that lesson. That makes sense. I've got to get here. So I got to get a hot house made because engineers don't hunt, so I can't even make hunters. I've got to get a hot house making me some dinners. I forgot about that. Alright, the work day is pretty much over. End of shift. Go rest all who can. We are no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. Frostland. Stop. Okay. Captain, with the beacon operational, we can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. Still some distance away, but we better keep an eye on it and make sure we set up infrastructure needed to heat the arcs before it hits. Thanks. Thanks. Get out there, kids. Go search the wild blue yonder. The wild white yonder, because it's just snow covered. The special guest will be great. Great widows or drill sergeant. Absolutely. Now I've got two workshops. That should speed up my researching. People aren't hungry. People are getting healed. I am running out of food, though. I like that, bro. Welcome, noob. How's your Thursday? I'm playing this one in hard difficulty, which I'm immediately regretting. Get going. <laughs> Odd Seaman will be taking all the night shifts. Hey, did you see this robot's name, noob? It's Odd Seaman. Can you believe it? How'd that happen? You're doing all good? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There's one meal and they refuse to cook it. You guys are useless. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Who will get there first? Will the search party or will the research happen first? Ten minutes versus ninety-nine? Oh, oh it was a close call, but it was the research. Came in oh fifty. Not 
good. This is not good. Explore. We spent hours hacking at the ice to free our supplies, but we did it. We were forced to abandon them once. Doing it again would be unforgivable. Broken automaton, or I can't even read it. I can't even read it. Icefall mine. Let's go there. Alright, you guys will be immediately taken off those because I, I need to get more wood built up. I think it's 50. I need 50 woods. Coal pile depleted. No, it's not. Go for another coal pile, buddy. 40, 45, 47, 48, 49. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Max. Max. Research. Boom. We good. Din Din's ready, kids. Ooh, what are we eating today? Oh, noobs already eaten. What's everybody eating for dinner? A woman is sitting in the snow pit holding her dead husband's hand. Hey, we already harvested that body for parts, so there's nobody there anymore. She's crying her heart out. Perhaps she shouldn't should have agreed to give people proper burials after all. Discontent will rise, hope will fall. I did what I had to do. Deal with it. Get over yourself. Spring rolls. You made them some time ago. Oh, did you like then just freeze them or something? Angry's having spring rolls. Hayraz ate himself sick. Noob's having a mysterious dinner. It's called the mystery dinner. We got creamy mushroom sauce and creamy-ish cheesy ma Ooh, mashed potatoes? <gasps> With chicken! That sounds so good. It sounds so good. Love it. I'm actually tempted to knock you down to five people and put more there. Captain, in a few days the temperature will drop. Our seedling arcs will be in danger. We have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hubs. <laughs> uh, Angry did prep them and froze them. Nice. And noob, it's so good. That's, that's good. That is good. Hey, what do you guys think? Should we build heaters? And I assume if you build a heater, you can turn it on. I think heaters is the way to go. I don't think I can even research steam hubs. Angry cooked a frozen meal. Everyone laugh at him. No, he prepped it and then he froze his own meal and now he's... <laughs> That's not how that works. That's not how it works. So I need to start actually harvesting this wood as soon as possible because I need to open up these... Actually, I don't need to open that up. I need to open this this over here. There's like a drill over there. But I actually, I do need to get rid of all this wood so I can get to this iron and this coal. Probably put this in a bad spot. Whoops. It was still frozen though, so it doesn't count. Anything frozen, no matter how it was made or prepared or by who, 
it's a bad. Bad, bad, bad. I think... Oh, what does this mean? Corpses can be used as fertilizer in hot houses. I like that. I don't have a hot house yet. I think we want the fighting arena. Those are always good to have. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Boom. Only the top of the automaton is sticking out of the snow. Digging it out will take some effort, but should be worth it. This automaton was left where it broke down. Thankfully, we've managed to dig it out and fix it. We can now send this fully operational automaton to the city. Nice. Free automaton. I love it. Why is this one marked with yellow? Does that mean something? It's going to take a day and a half. Wow. Wow. Uh, angry, why are you so sorry? Are you sorry because you cooked a frozen meal? Because you laughed at me. You're not invited to Crispy Camp Calculus this summer. That's true. Noobs. Off the VIP list. I got a good amount of coal coming in. It's not going to last too much longer, though, because I only have two more piles. I'm going to have to get a thumper or a mine. I'd prefer a mine. I hate the thumpers, man. So many people required to work at a thumper. You laughed at yourself, though, so you can't go as well. You know what? Ten people is really way too many people to work at these sites. How's Mr. Moo Moo? I, he's, he sounds like he's doing good so far. He sends a generic email out to a large group of people. I'm on that list. Seems to be doing well. Baker, so it's just camp calculus. No food for me. <laughs> you're off you're off the list. So no no cooking, just the math and what was the what was the third thing? I already forgot what it was. I'm in so much trouble right now because I need fifty percent research to just get to hot houses, and I'm out of food. I am out of food. Meter contact Moo Moo. Let him know that we miss him. I can pass that along. I could pass that along. If that ever happens. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I might need to do a 24-hour shift and kill another person off here. That's what it's feeling like. Someone's going to die. Because I need heaters and I need food. How am I supposed to get both? I think we're screwed, you guys. <laughs> I think we're in big trouble here. Big trouble. 24 hour stream? That never was said. I don't recall that ever being said.
Oh. Physio at 8 a.m. For your, is it for your shoulder from clear back then? Our expedition's main vehicle left hopelessly wedged in a crevasse. Exploring it will be difficult, but we have to find factory plans that are on board. Oh, that's why I had a yellow dot. We rappelled down into the crevasse, listening to the ominous sounds of the ice cracking under the weight of the still behemoth. After an hour or so of searching, we would find the document safe and retrieve the factory plans. We must get them to the city as fast as possible. The weather is getting worse by the minute, and we need automatons to secure the city and seedling arcs before the storm hits. I guess I'll try to get them back. Excellent, now we can start setting up the automa automated infrastructure to keep the seedling arcs at a safe temperature. Bring back the plan, set up a factory, and increase the number of automatons to three. Oh, I said a 24-hour shift. Oh, yes. I need to do as much work. Okay, I got, I got to do as much work uh, as I make my people in this game do. Is that what you're saying? Your shoulder, yep, finally getting it getting it seen to? That's how long it's taken? I bet it'll say, go to the gym or something like that. Do you even lift, bruh? The Simone count, you lift her. Yes, that kind of counts. 94. 95, come on, baby. 95, 96. There we go. 97. It's happening. 98. 99. I've got to do hot houses before heaters, and I hate doing that, but I think we have the time to get both. All right. I also need a fighting arena. They forced me to do it. Let's put it right there. We'll hit all five of you jerks. That puts it in an awkward place for where the roads meet. Oh, that cavity, God, that must have been a serious cavity, dude. I don't know why. It's a little sensitive. My promise fulfilled. Get ready for another 24-hour shift. It doesn't make sense, though, that it was that bad. They held off doing that for years while they said it... Oh, frick. While they said it was, it was looking like it was just on the cusp of it, whether it needed to be filled or not. And then he does it today, and good grief. He, like, destroyed my mouth. This is going to drive me nuts if I don't do this. I got to wait for that road to get built before I destroy the other one. happening deal with it don't die on me though all right now I could destroy this part of the road
My lips are just peeling like crazy. Did you see that massive discontent? The fighting arena just, oh baby, such a great thing. That allows you to do 24 hour shifts all the time, unless your people are babies. Now it's just a waiting game right here. We need to get that hot house going. Ninety nine one hundred. Twenty six raw food per day. And I only have 44 people because one died. Man, that is just a stupid size. Let's put it... Does it matter which side? Let's put it on this side. Hopefully this can feed all these people without needing more. Uh, don't need to worry about these yet. We need the heating, right? Uh, let's do heaters. We just use our first steam core. Steam cores are necessary. Yeah, we know about steam cores. I know all about steam cores. We got basically about 24 hours to the next cold, and that means I need to have heaters by then. Which also means I need people working there. Making the food. Okay. This building was destroyed by a powerful avalanche. Its interiors are filled with snow, but we should be able to retrieve some resources. We discover a bounty of resources as we, as we dig through the snow. Sadly, that's not all we find. An avalanche killed everyone who worked here. Their corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and the insignia of Her Majesty's Prospector Corps suggest they were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Maybe it's for the best that they weren't here to witness the fall of the Empire. Okay. <laughs> we found some frozen food. We found some human popsicles. You should bring those back because we can throw them in our snow pit and have some more organ transplants. Walk time. Get moving. I only have four spare people that I can put on these random piles because I've got engineers I've got sawmill I've got uh, the cookhouse and pretty soon actually I gotta pull one of these guys over here to start making meals again so I've got three spare dudes is all nature's lollipops as you like to call them but they're cold I don't even think I can staff a public house. We always go for prosthetics, right? Should we do it right now? Actually, let's do organic fertilizer. Um, what does this do?
I don't know. I've never even actually done this. Let's see how bad it makes people mad. Eh, pretty mad. A new law has passed. Not enough bodies. I need three bodies. Oh! <laughs> Dang, we should have brought the bodies back. What a mess. Can't leave perfectly good bodies frozen in the snow. Don't these people know that we need them the corpses for fertilizer? Seemed unthinkable in the past, but this is a new world, and we have to adapt. The bodies of our dead can now be utilized to help us survive, so we started keeping tally how many we have. Okay. I know how many we have. Oh, we have one. There was a tally right there the whole time. The automaton is here. It can work. I love it. Let's put you to work on this wood pile that I left behind. Nice. Heaters are functional. More scouts. I can't even afford the people. I don't need either one of these yet. I don't need any of these yet. I probably need the coal mine. Although the mine costs a core and automatons cost cores. Hey, it has a name. Oh, sorry. Oh, shoot, we didn't name our new automaton. Where is he? Hey, buddy, where are you at? Where's he at? All right, Spreaderin, or anyone else. You got a name for my new... There he is. Look at him go. It's the Heavy Britain. Oh. <laughs> is that you, noob? <laughs> yeah, I'm totally with angry on that one. It's not like we call you human streamer. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. The Heavy Britain has arrived. Someone give me a name here. Oh, this is where we kept the tally. I see the tally of bodies there. Oh yeah, Fart Sumper! I forgot about that. Why do I keep hitting I? I spell that right? Bart Sumper is here! <laughs> you both said it at the exact same time. So an engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automatons can be approved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learn how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can adjust it to improve its performance. Why should it be any different with them? Of course. That's a freebie right there. Good old Fart Sumper coming in. I was about to say that you should find a name for this one and we got him oh he just ran out of crates shoot gotta stay on top of this Bart Humper's standing around not doing anything get your head in the game Bart Humper <laughs> high five why are you hungry I have 26 meals just laying around. Ten people making food, they make it slower than one person cooking the meals. That's insane. Look at that, odd semen and fart sumper are growing up so fast. Oh, look at them, my boys. Oh, time's precious. They grow up so fast right before your eyes. You turn around and look at them. Pretty soon, they're gonna be married and have kids of their own. <laughs> it just makes me so sad. These guys are bringing back a ton of resources. 
a ton and I love it. Work day ends. It's off time. I'm not gonna disband them, are you crazy? They got work to do. You, there, now. Although that that's 20 hours. If I send them there, that's only eight hours. And then going there, you can't tell me that that would be 12. Remember this, remember this. It's 20 to there, but I'm gonna do eight to here and see how much it then takes to go from there to there. So I'm gonna type that. No, I'm not, that's too much work. Maybe I can do it. I just, I don't think, I don't think that your chat message will stick around that I can remember by the time that happens, though. All right, it's gonna get cold. I have to get those guys out of there. I don't even have to research a factory? It's just a freebie? Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, I already read that. Odd Seaman Jr. <laughs> Odd Seaman the Second. It'll be a generational name. They'll be the third and the fourth. Odd Seaman the Fifth. Passing down the legacy of Odd Seaman from one to another. I got a lot of coal there, but once I turn these heaters on, that coal is going to start disappearing quick. Alright, one, two. I don't have room for you guys. I don't have enough staff. Five, ten. Ten there, ten there. Ten, twenty, thirty. Five left, 35. Where are the other people at? Oh, medical post. Ugh. I don't have enough heaps. One hundred wood, fifty coal, and one steam core. And a hundred steel. I hate that. Where, where are the robots at? Where are the ro ro Here's the robots. I need to get these so I can make them cheaper. Yikes. Yikes. That's high quality H2O. Hold on, angry. There's no covered plane where we... Oh. Oh, here we go. 8 plus 11. I saved one hour by doing this. <laughs> Instead of 20, I saved one. Well, it was something. Alright, pause. On the 90 second ad, your favorite thing in the world. I have to build one automaton. <laughs> now I can die in peace. How you feeling after you ate and drank and you said you got yourself sick? Did that pass?
Yeah, it passed. Just a quick overeating, and then you're fine. No problems there. All right, I think we're setting up in a pretty good place. In a couple hours, I'm going to turn the heaters on. So the seeds don't freeze. That'll be at 7 a.m. One, two, three, four. Wrap up well. The frost is here. Oof. We might need some heaters on. Actually, all my coal is going to disappear. Look how many heaters I had to turn on. You passed? Passed through where? I took some chocolate today. I feel much better today. <laughs> you guys got to kick that chocolate habit. Don't want to get addicted. All right, coal mining is next. All right, with all those heaters, we're now actually losing coal a lot. So this is not gonna be sustainable. <laughs> Some anti, is that anti back stuff? Is that what you mean when you say anti-flu? Ninety-seven. Get ready for another name. We're gonna have another automaton here in a minute, you guys. I think I need to invest in the next tier. Okay, you guys got the name lined up. This is all the time you have left. Where's little Farts Humper? There he is. There's Farts Humper. And then there's Odd Seaman. Nice. The automatons are performing admirably now. We have to make enough of them to autom automate the critical operations in the city before the storm hits. It's the only way to ensure that the seedling arcs will be supported during the storm. Um, crap. This mine is at risk of being buried by an avalanche at any time. It must have been abandoned a long time ago. Judging by the equipment, it looks like this mine was constructed before the Great Winter, possibly by the first prospectors to explore the area. The general disarray inside the building suggests they were abandoned abruptly, presumably due to some sort of earthquake. Many valuable resources have been left behind. All right, let's go there. Um, where's my automaton? Hey, you guys didn't pick a name. He's the Royal Highlander, unless you speak up. You guys okay with this? Royal Highlander, really? We're gonna we're gonna live with that horrible, horrible name.
Sir, the engineer working on an automaton project is back. He wants to borrow an automaton. I'm close to a breakthrough. I just need an automaton for a day. And I believe I'll be able to pro propose specific modifications that will raise the performance permanently. Oh, great. Who's not working? Well, you didn't get your chance to name him. How do I have one unemployed dude? Where would he have... Oh, it's the guy that was working on the automaton. <laughs> do I call it that? The Sharps automaton? Oh, I can fit it. There we go. One of them needs to be a chalk lane. A chalk lane, dude. The sharps Deton. You want me to modify it to that? Whoops. I don't know. I feel like the hardwood and steel thing doesn't work as well anymore. <laughs> it's been overplayed. Five. You guys are getting. I'm gonna get a lot more automatons, so you can save some names. But we need to decide: are we okay with the Sharps automaton, or does that need to be modified? Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold, and ask you to address the problem. Two days. I'm not going to address this. I don't even care right now. What do you guys... What do you guys think I'm... Oh, he finished that pile. Dang you. You automatons need to speak up. When you're done working, say something. You want the sharps to ton? There we go. Una Slunter. That's got to mean something in German. I might need to do another 24 hour shift, and I know they get so mad about it, but I have to. Oh, that's Norwegian. What does it mean? What does it mean? Employ at least two automatons in the coal industry. Employ at least one automaton in the steel industry. 
employ at least one automaton in the wood industry. Employ at least one automaton in the raw food industry. A lot of industry. Can I put that guy to work yet? I cannot. This guy is just standing around being studied. A man assigned to an emergency shift has refused to work, he said. He's already worn out. Fine. Fine, don't work. I, I refuse to work. I don't want to live. I want to die. Please let me die right now. Okay. Let's see. Angry, what's your Instagram? It's correct, Ella. What do we call it? Did I miss something? Wait, huh? We call it heart holes? Heart holes. Or Marcel Spitka. When you see Oh two oh that's your Instagram. I thought you were answering Spreadrun. When you see pics of Sandcastle stuff, it's me and food. <laughs> and food. In about two days we're gonna have another temperature drop, so I've gotta get these heaters upgraded. Also burning still too much coal. Nobody's working there. I could build another automaton. They just cost so much until you can research how to make them cost less. Rock formation or barren hollow? We can name the next one Stalgriefer. You guys are saying things I don't understand. You at least you you taught me fart thumper. You're leaving me just blind here. Crates are depleted. I can pass another law. I can't even employ people at the public house. I'm just gonna sign that. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. You should name one of your people. <laughs> He said a name. See, I don't know what these, any of these words mean. None of them. Move. Time to get to work. I don't dare get their discontent any higher, do I? Oh, the one that avoids working, so basically like a slacker. There's a slacker. Can I build roads without destroying resources? I think I can, right? That didn't destroy resources. Un Una Slunterer? I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that well or right at all.
<laughs> it's a lazy butt. <laughs> that makes sense. I only got two days worth of coal. There's not even any trees through there. I only have two people to spare. I could put them in here and have them build an automaton, but then they're working at an inefficient rate. That should warm your houses, you babies. Now I'm going to fix the heaters so these can stay warmer. They're all a bunch of big whiners. Waiting for workers. Oh, awesome. Nobody's even working there. Let's go one, two, three. Let's max these guys out. Sir, the engineer working on the automaton project sent in his report. He broke the automaton he borrowed. Now he wants a steam core. The damage hasn't been for nothing. We can fix the broken machine. And on top of that, we can now adjust the automatons to make them work faster. The engineer's busy again now, but he said he's onto something really exciting. We'll use one steam core. The efficiency of automatons will rise by 5%. We can't afford it. Five percent? Sure. Go for it. I can afford that. Alright, the malfunctioning automaton has been repaired. We can put it back to work. Actually, let's put it on coal. So you're not going to do the wood pile. You're going to work on the coal mine. Now I've got two sources of coal. One officially in the coal industry. We're out of, we're out of wood. How did we run out of? Oh, because this guy's making an automaton. Oh my gosh, we're out of wood and steel. Bart Thumper. Is that the only other steel pile laying around? That's not good. I've got to access this. Crap. Baker, Sta, Sitter, Med. Wait. I don't know anything you wrote right there. I am completely baffled at what you just wrote, Angry. I'm sorry. How's my coal production? Now we're in the positive because I got two coal sources. Although this one's going to run out in 300. Night is coming. Oh, you're talking about me? What are you saying? Our people are becoming less and less committed to their work. Perhaps we should have given them extra rations while they're sweating blood on emergency shifts. From now on, emergency shifts will cost food. Hope will rise. Sure. I hardly do emergency shifts, so whatever. Why would I think? I mean, you wrote Baker. You wrote Baker in what you wrote. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would, why would I not think you're talking about me? Here and go like this. 
this. That doesn't seem like a proper translation with Google Translate. <laughs> okay, that was the right translation. <laughs> what the heck? You sit with your beard in the post box. It said, stand or sit with the beard in the mailbox. That doesn't make any sense. You're talking nonsense. Oh, I'm running out of steel. Translate the baker. Oh, the word baker means something. Oh, so you're not talking about me. I left that off. It says bakes. Oh, no, baker stand. That didn't change anything. The things you guys make me do. <laughs> the sink spot in the frost line we can use as waypoint for further exploration. Research hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. I actually need this guy to bring back resources. So I hate to do this, but I'm going to turn him over there and then send him back. I'm actually half tempted to send him straight back. do that. I don't know. Is that supposed to mean something? Standing or sitting? With your beard in a mailbox? That doesn't make any sense. There's another thing. A Norwegian a baker is the one who makes bread and cake. Right, I know what a... I, yeah, that's what a baker is, yeah. It's also a last name. It's a Norwegian saying? What on earth could it mean? One... One should not look at the dog's hair. That means you messed up. <laughs> That's a weird... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, what law did we just pass? The extended shift. Sustain. Let's do radical treatment. That'll probably make people that mad. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. You guys are all doing Instagram stuff. I don't, I don't even have an Instagram account. Why do I have one? Oh, that's why. to make what was it we got to make iron or steel or whatever the whatever it is yeah iron they process it into steel but it starts as iron pretty much means don't judge a book by its cover well that one i just translated and it had something to do with dog hairs <laughs> If I remember what I read. Hey, everyone's got weird sayings. We Ours are weird. Oh, 
Oh, okay, the meaning's the same. Gotcha. I don't think I have any of these guys collecting... Oh, th these guys are chopping down the woods. Alright, what did I say I needed? I keep forgetting. Iron, right? Steel works. I've got to get that. Uh, pretty soon we're going to have another automaton, everybody. It's going to need a name. I kind of feel like you're the one teaching me Norwegian sayings here, Angry. <laughs> Call it Dave. You know, my favorite use of the word, or the name Dave, is Dave the Minion from... Um, if you watch Gru, or what was it? Despicable Me, yeah. Despicable Me. He'll talk to D Dave the Minion all the time, and Dave's always messing things up. He's like, Dave! <laughs> you got to stop screwing up, Dave! I can't do his accent, but... Um, I've got an automaton. You guys forgot to name it, so now we're screwed. No, not you guys, the automaton there. Captain, we've run out of steam cores. We know these are some... There are some industrial ruins to the north and south. We might find some more steam cores there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know when I use... I, I, we didn't run out. I have one steam core, you lying piece of crap. Not Dave. The robot from Gears of War. Oh, yeah, that Dave as well. I forgot about that Dave because he was so short in the game. The gear game where Baker's at 100%. Was that the one? I was 100% fine. Uh, so right now we have the Heavy Canadian. So are we just going to call it Dave? Or was it going to be one of those other names you guys were talking about? Tell me otherwise. Uh, right now he's on the wood piles here, but I can put him anywhere. Well, actually, I can't because he can either work at a sawmill or he can work at the wood pile. I think that's pretty much the only places he can work. Oh, he can work in the cookhouse. That's a possibility. So the automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at lower cost. I'm glad I made one just now. And used in medical facilities. We learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work the most fragile thing we know of the human body. It also turns out we can remove some non-essential parts. Cool. I like that. His name's Heart Hole Heart Holes? I don't know how to pronounce. Heart Lloyds. That's the best I can do. My mouth's just not built to s give a German oh, accent unless that was Norwegian. <laughs> Either way, my mouth just can't do it. Well, that was a waste. That was an absolute waste. Hard holes. Hard holes? Hard holes. Hard holes. I'm trying to add an accent, but I don't know how to make it sound. 
Hard holes. Okay. It's gonna destroy resources. At this point, I don't care because I have to get steel. I do not have enough for that. We might need bunk houses to keep people warmer. I don't care about the range, don't care about that. The efficiency is not a bad idea. Let's do the efficiency so it burns less coal. So we're down to 72. Good old Odd Seaman's gonna need a new job. Oh no, I should have done more scouts. Shoot, that was the one I wanted to do. Which, as you might assume, is hardwood. Hard. Ho I didn't assume that at all. <laughs> Thanks you for thank you for telling me. Finish your labors, people. The work day is up. Wood is holes. I, yeah, makes sense. Noob. Noob, talk to angry. I don't want to build a care house. public house. Actually, though, I could build a public house. I have extra people because the automatons currently are doing a lot of the jobs. New law. A new law has passed. Yes, Mr. Angry? Gas is playing Halo. He's always playing Halo. You might join? No, Vampire Survivors too. You can't play both. That's insane. This place is cold. The temperature is going to drop. These guys can't work here anymore. That's a bad deal. Ten steel for the public house. What a waste. I don't know if we ever get more people. Or if you just really have to just keep making automatons, I can't remember. I have the Simone, play with her and welcome Simone, yes. Hello Simone. I was gonna ask, are you looking for another job since the other place, I can't remember the name. 22 hours, that can't be good. Why are we using so much coal now? Turn that off. Cookhouse is cold, which is no good. And of course, Noob took that in a filthy way, as he does. <laughs> All right, you guys can work there. Hope rises, discontent falls. Oh, all right. You, he took it the way you meant it. Well, there you go. Why not? All right. I need to manage the heat because I am burning so much coal right now. I have less than a day. And the coal pile's gone. Frick. 
Um, it looks like which automaton is going to work here. Odd Seaman might be working this. I can't tell which one's working where. He might be... Uh, why is it inoperative? Oh! Frick. It's inoperative because... It ran out of wood nearby. Let's go to Misty Valley. I can't keep track of which autom automaton's working where. So this is our life now. We can't base our names upon upon jobs. We just can't. By the way, spread around, I'm also barely active in Instagram. <laughs> Destroy resources like we do. And I'm out of wood. Oh no. Oh no, you guys. We need more of this... Trees! We need more trees! <sighs> Alright, we've got two coal mines getting uh, prepared. Well, the second one being prepared. The second steelworks being prepared. I don't have workers yet for all of them. As soon as this pile's gone, I'll have an extra automaton. <sighs> they work 24 hours a day, however, their efficiency is garbage and they have to refuel twice a day. Edit your I, very minimally. Cold is coming. Very minimally, I just edit out like the beginning, the ending, and any of the spin the wheel kind of things and be right backs. All that fun stuff. Crap. Everyone's getting cold again. Uh, to split the videos, you could just upload multiple multiple versions to YouTube and then cut them and, you know, take the first one and cut the first half and the second one, the second half, or three pieces or whatever you want to do. Or you can get a video editing program. Um, I have one that I can use. I rarely use it because I can just put two or three versions of the same video in, like I said, and just... You know, edit it to the first two hours, edit it the next two hours, edit that one for the last two hours, and just chop off the pieces inside of YouTube's own video editor. The one I use, yeah, ask me in Discord, and I can maybe give you some more information. We need coal more than steel, so as soon as I have a worker or a robot, I need a robot. The temperature has only dropped. We've actually never had a warm up, have we? If we did, we had a cool down and a warm up to get us back to the beginning, and then since then, we've only had cool downs. I just want to split up the video from today so I have a clean editing for the alien session. That's what I do. If I do two games in a stream, I just upload two versions of the same video to YouTube, and I just chop the first one, and then chop out the second one. If that makes sense. Why will they not dismantle this? 
you don't upload it yet. From Twitch, you can you can just throw your videos into YouTube from Twitch if you connect your accounts. So you don't have to download them to your computer and then upload them to Twitch. You can just send your videos straight from Twitch to YouTube. Cruel! Hello, yo fellas, how's it going? Bye! <laughs> Dang you, Cruel! Get back here! Get back here now, Cruel! Listen, everyone! New law is signed! No more high and buys. We demand you be here. This place is very cold. <laughs> I mean, buy is a no-no. It's okay on occasion, but repeated use is just not allowed. Certain automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. We can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other. And that means shutting down either the automaton or the building. The automaton will be unable to work for the next 12 hours. The workplace will be inactive for the next 12 hours. Either way, it doesn't matter. Because I'm not having it work then. Actually, I should have shut down the building because then I could have moved him here. I'm so stupid. I made the wrong choice again. Okay, it's late, we know, but I rarely do that. What are y'all talking about? You've done it a lot lately, Cruel. Uh, it is late for you, though. Although I did start two hours ago. Alright, I definitely need more scouts. I'm half tempted to make a third tech. I hate using the resources on that. We're talking about dog hair, beards and mailboxes and stuff, but not the weather. <laughs> oh man. Now they're saying stuff. They're saying things I don't understand and I can't sit there and look it up. I'm really, I'm really mad at myself for telling them to shut down the automaton instead of this place because I could have just moved the automaton here. Right back at you, Cruel says. Hey, Cole, we're finally in the green again. Oh my gosh, barely in the green for Cole. Happy day. Happy days are here again. We might have to run a 24-hour shift. That's not real language. Which automaton did you partially scrap? I don't even know which one it was. I don't, I don't know how to check either. I think that one's still working. Heart hole, hard holes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature of their homes. They quite sensibly point out it's easy to fall ill. I'm not gonna address this right now. I have other things I'm working on. Might have to do a 24 hour shift. Not might, I absolutely have to. Fart Humper's working, Hard Holes is working. There should be more and I'm not sure where they're at. Don't I have four robots? Oh. Sharp's Deton is working. So who does that leave? Oh, that me leaves Odd Seaman. Hot semen got shut down. Coffee is the German word for coffee. 
I didn't scrap it. He's just been put out of commission for a moment. Poor Odd Seaman. Poor, poor Odd Seaman. He didn't deserve that, did he? He had so much going for him. The air here is still. The trail ahead disappears in a milky haze. Even in the middle of the day, it feels like twilight. A narrow path we were investigating led on to a large, flat landscape. The snowy plains we have discovered seem promising. We've already observed a dozen places worth exploring. I have to send these guys back. They have too many good resources. Oh well, he's always been a little bit odd. I have my German keyboard on me, so I remind myself to keep it going. You mean German layout. I don't know what anyone means anymore. Take you there, take you out there. Let's see, the pub is working. What's the temperature? Everyone's chilly. So we need to work on the generator as soon as I can. I know nothing of this keyboard. <laughs> Confused is right. Did it not work? Oh my gosh! Oh, automaton scouts. That's kind of cute. I don't have 50 steel. Oh, we could also do bunk houses. That's how we can get people work or warmer. Did Confuse not work? It's blown in the middle again. I swear it has to do with my resolution. Because this game, every time I play on this PC, the resolution of the game is always whacked out. Which doesn't make sense because the game's resolution is its own source. So why would it affect other sources location? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Whatever. Odd Seaman, are you back on? Oh my gosh, he's been back and I didn't even know. Didn't even know. Why is Cole... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in the red on the coal again. German keyboard layout has Z and Y position switch because we don't use Y that often. How long is heck away for? Because you know you're going to have to be a good boy when Rife gets home, right? I don't know what that means, but... Uh, until Saturday?
Are there any other coal resources? I don't see any other. I'm gonna have to get a thumper going. No more semen talk and swearing? When has the swearing happened? And I swear all the time around the house. Get going. And semen's just, it's a Norwegian name. You can say the word semen even if it's just, even if you're talking about semen. <laughs> it's not a bad word. Oh, I can make more scouts. That's what I freaking forgot to do. Cook her some nice lunch and dinner when she comes home. She won't be home till like almost midnight, probably after midnight is when we get her home. Women love that. So we can talk about it too. No, you're not allowed ever, noob. Because you always take it too far, so you're not allowed. Cruel, I am a mod? Is that what that says? <laughs> you take it too far. <gasps> you're grounded. No, you're grounded. You also say stuff like, no, no. <laughs> no. What did I just buy? I don't even remember what I bought. Bunk houses, right? Oh, Spread is playing grounded. That's true. Cruel thinks he's lurking. Cruel? We don't... All right, I'm going to have to, like, time out a couple of you here. Breaking the rules. I need more robots, but I don't have any steam cores, let alone any resources to make them. You aren't breaking the rules? You're definitely breaking the rules. So an engineer is here to see you. He has a letter to you from his team. My worker has asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry. Here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold where previously they toiled and suffered is something worth living for. Good. Yeah, Cruel knows what's up. You're not speaking code at all. <laughs> Everyone knows what's happening. All right, I needed those resources badly. place is almost out of wood, so let's prep another sawmill. my coal. Hey, we're, we're in the slight green on the coal. Congratulations. It's everything I wanted. Mm. 
95 steel. Ni oh, no, I don't have a steam core. Crap. What are my scouts doing all day if not bring bringing me steam cores back? Time to rest, folks. Works out today. No rest for the robots. Why did the discontent rise? Oh, they're cold. Crap. When are we watching The Last of Us? You haven't streamed it for us. You're all eating soup from now on, but I'm also giving you moonshine, so shut up. That's why you ask? I don't even know, man. Should we, should we make bunkhouses? Oh, Prime, you got caught again. I don't know why my auto mod is so sensitive. I watched all of the last 10 minutes of the first one. Didn't watch the second one. Figured I'd do two in a row on Sunday. HBO is a... Is a... Of a douche? Moonshine soup? Moonshine is soup if you use a spoon. <laughs> Anything can be soup. Just put it in a bowl and... Yeah, ladle it out in your mouth. <laughs> No, they get moonshine with their soup. It's a good... It's a, it's a part of your balanced uh, breakfast. Moonshine and soup. No, douche is fine. Automod has a mind of its own some, sometimes. So, I'm sorry you, you get caught by it sometimes. It's not my intention on things like that. Alright, you should be warmer now, you big baby. Look at that, you're livable. Quit crying about it. I tiptoe around rules, apparently, and they're like, nope! <laughs> I might have the sensitivity up too, too high for the auto mod. I, yeah, Nick Offerman, I love him. And I worry that he's only going to be in one based upon Bill's character. It's Bill, right? Bill's character from the game. Which makes me sad. If you're listening to me, there's no telling what I might say in my stream. <laughs> one or two, probably. That's all. But he's so good. Angry Guess is two. I'll throw my hat in, it's only gonna be one. I would say if it's two, it would just be like a... Either a farewell or an introductory that would overlap one or the other. Alright, alright, alright. Let's use all these resources to get tier three, I love it. Two, three. I only have four robots. That's not good at all. I need a fifth robot. Oh yeah, flashbacks are so big in the game. That's true. They love themselves some flashbacks, don't they? I, you had a typo there? I don't know what just happened there, Spread. 
You got yourself auto modded too. <laughs> I think you, you wrote fun fact, but you said F A C K, which I think it might have thought that was a bad word. <laughs> it's pronounced exactly the same as the Norwegian word. Sad. Oh, not fun fact. Oh, fun fact. The word sad is pronounced the same as the Norwegian word sad. <laughs> you guys are getting hit on auto mod like crazy. You're pre-gaming right now. Oh, are you going to stream? Steep rock faces protect us from the wind, but we fear rock slide could happen at any moment. Traversing the narrow pass while avoiding the falling rocks and small avalanches is perilous, but we managed to get through. The observations made from the pass revealed several sites in the area worth exploring. Snow dune or frozen pond? <laughs> hey mod, leave the kids alone. If you want to know what say it sad means, you should ask. Okay. I don't <laughs> Now I don't want to know. I do not want to know. Two, one. We're out of trees. We're out of trees. And we dismantle. Ask semen, hint, hint, but you already do. I get offered mod all the time, and I always tell them I don't ban people. <laughs> it's it's been so long since I've had any nut job show up in stream either that. And also bots. Very rarely do I see bots. So, Night is coming. Ma I don't even need mods myself. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's my son. <laughs> 